Thank you, Rebecca. And our next presenter is Leah Holbrook from the Department of Nutrition. And that will be our, this will be our last one before lunch, and then we'll get a chance to break for lunch, and we'll have more presenters this afternoon. So we have Leah Holbrook from the Nutrition Department in the Department of Student, Student Health and Family Medicine. Professors may have 
you know, some varying preferences, but for the most part, we wanted um, those who were teaching in our program to use a similar style um, in terms of the, how the course would look. So this is basically how we set up our Blackboard course. This is a fully online course. There's, there's no in-person meetings at all. Um, so we had consistent week-to-week -week formal communication in, in this way of announcements being the best place for a student to start when they enter a new week. I divided my courses up by week, which has really served me well because I've since taught a winter course that will be a summer course that will be a fall course. So when I initially set up my winter course, I set it up by units, six units, because it was only three weeks long. And now this course is going to be taught in the summer, which is a six-week you know, semester. So I'll be converting those units to weeks. So it seems as though this consistent approach to my courses is working, that I can modify it depending upon how long each semester will be as I learn how long each semester will be, because that's really what it's coming down to, kind of learning as you go. Um, so this initial course, like I said, was um, the only course we offered in the fall. We subsequently offered a winter course, and then we're offering two courses now. So it's four altogether, uh, no repeats yet in our course offerings. And what we found in terms of our course design was that um, through TLT, we were able to get student feedback for our initial course in the fall, and then our winter course in 2013, just this past winter. We only have four students in the fall course, but we have 14 in the winter course. And we had a 50 to 75% response rate on those end of semester surveys. And 100% of those respondents felt that um, the instructor was prepared and organized and the course objectives were clear. So I attribute that to the Quality Matters Workshop and the other resources we've gotten through TLT, which include their um, online, um, um, where you can sit at your desk and participate in a, in a, in a teaching training, um, which I've also used quite often. Um, and then from some of their qualitative comments, again, um, the themes were organized and clear, concise instructions, well organized and manageable. And from my experience teaching in the past as well as taking the course, the content can be very engaging, the instructor can be very knowledgeable, but if they can't manage the course or they don't know where to go on a Monday, I, I just think that the rest doesn't matter to the student. So, um, I, you know, so that's what we prioritized and it seems to be working well. We've been using uh, narrated PowerPoints for most of the lectures, which I find that the students are very happy with. Their, their um, responses, you know, really suggest that they prefer the narration. Um, I've been able to use a new software called iSpring Pro. Is anyone familiar with that software? Um, it's available for purchase. It's not terribly expensive, and you can publish your narrated PowerPoints in iSpring Pro so that they play like a flash movie on any internet browser. And my students have really liked that as well. Sure, iSpring is the company, and you know, Little I and then Spring. Um, they have an entire website of tools, and I'm sure there's more there than even I'm aware of, but we're using the particular package iSpring Pro. And you just um, install it on your computer, and it appears in your PowerPoint window. So if you've narrated a PowerPoint, you just hit iSpring Pro, it brings you to another screen, but, but very similar, and then you publish it. Um, they have very good, um, both email and phone customer service for when you run into problems. And you can insert your photo into it so when it opens, it really does look very professional. And since it can be played on all internet browsers, it just makes it very nice for the student who's maybe engaging in your class on various devices. You can also narrate right in iSpring, which I imagine is probably a good idea, but I haven't gotten there yet. I'm still narrating in PowerPoint and then publishing it um, in iSpring. 